ओके जी अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस हाउ वी कैलकुलेट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इलेक्ट्रो स्टैटिक पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इट इज द वर्क डन इट इज द वर्क डन पर यूनिट टेस्ट चार्ज टू मूव पर यूनिट टेस्ट चार्ज टू मूव इट फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अदर अगेंस्ट द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स विदाउट एक्सरलेशन अगेंस्ट इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स विदाउट एक्सरलेशन लेट वी हैव पॉइंट चार्ज एट ओ इट्स फील्ड हेयर वी हैव अ पॉइंट ए विच इज एट डिस्टेंस आर ए पॉइंट बी एट डिस्टेंस आर बी now we have to move the test charge q not from this point that is from this point oa distance at ra and ob distance at rb potential at a and potential at b so according to the definition potential difference is work done per unit test charge this is our definition potential difference is work done upon test charge during motion let the test charge is at point p during from a to b and this distance is at r now this test charge experience the force q not e vector along the direction of electric field but we have to move the charge from a to v so an external force required is at least equal to this force that is minus q not e vector now for the small displacement pq dl vector the small work done is f dot dl vector means minus q not e dot dl vector now here e vector and dl vector angle is 180 degree and cos 180 means e dl cos 180 minus that is q not e dl that is the work done but electric field due to point charges 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q upon r square and to calculate the total work done this dl is approximately minus dr because it is towards the decreasing r then we have small work done minus uh, this minus q not e dr and small work done minus q not q over 4 pi epsilon not r square dr then how we calculate the total work done a to b that is minus q not q 4 pi epsilon not integral minus this dr a to b and what about its integration q not q 4 pi epsilon not that is minus 1 by r r a to r b and this minus minus become plus q not q 4 pi epsilon not that is 1 by r that is r a to r b now this work done per unit test charge work done per unit test charge q over 4 pi epsilon not 1 upon r b minus 1 upon r a 1 upon r b minus 1 upon r a this is the definition of uh, this is equation number 2 and from now this equation 1 that is the definition and what we got here from equation 2 then we have the potential difference is uh, q upon 4 pi epsilon not 1 upon r b upon r a and in the last article we have that this is uh, the uh, the line integral of electric field that is the work done from a to b is uh, q upon 4 pi epsilon not 1 upon r a minus 1 upon r b so we have justified that the line integral is uh, negative of 
or we can say that potential difference is negative of the line integral and in SI system this potential difference is measured in 1 volt where 1 volt is 1 joule upon per uh, 1 joule upon per coulomb 1 joule per coulomb is a uh, uh, the potential difference of 1 uh, volt from here we can also find the expression for electrostatic your electrostatic potential now this electrostatic potential is the work done for per unit test charge from infinity to for any point from infinity if we considering the same case o plus q this origin and from infinity we have to move the charge test charge at point a at a distance r a Again, at any point P, test charge, force Q0, E vector, then external force is applied in this direction and from P to Q, small displacement DL. Again, we have this and, and according to the definition, this is work done per unit test charge from infinity. And from again, by uh, using the same calculations, what we got the work done per unit test charge is uh, that is q upon 4 pi epsilon naught 1 upon r a minus 1 upon infinity or we can say that 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r a so this is the electrostatic potential due to a point charge that is called we can say that again by this potential at point is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r a electrostatic potential or electric potential due to a point charge and again if we draw the graph between this potential and r it is a this curve line and if we draw the graph v and 1 by r it is a straight line and if we have the number of point charges then how we calculate the potential due to the number of charges now potential is a scalar quantity then the total potential is written as the sum of individual potentials of the charges and so many charges are present in that uh, system if it is a plus charge so we can say that like this 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q1 upon r1 if it is a negative charge then it can be written here minus 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q2 upon r2 because it is a scalar quantity so we have to mention the nature of the charge either it is positive or it is a negative then we can and and for the total uh, this potential we can add them the potentials now we have the next point now we have the next is the electric potential at any point due to due to electric dipole electric dipole electric dipole how we calculate this we have this dipole minus q plus q with center o this is of the observation point p at angle theta and this is the distance a and a now we have to calculate the total potential here let this is point a and b so this is the distance and this is the distance then due to this minus q what is the potential minus 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q upon this p a and b potential 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q upon p b then what is the total potential a plus b and here q upon 4 pi epsilon naught 1 upon p b minus 1 upon p a this is equation 1 then to calculate these values p b and p a we extend this and draw the perpendicular from here and here this is a m b n and angle theta here this 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 one is used to find this p a and p b because it is a distance r but it is not at equatorial line it is just at the any point of the uh, any point of the dipole then in this triangle a o m what is the cos theta the cos theta is om upon oa or om is this oa is a cos theta Di, if the dipole is considered as a short so this pa this distance is approximately equal to pm 
सो पी ए अप्रॉक्सीमेटली पी एम और वी कैन से दैट ओ पी प्लस ओ एम और वी कैन वी कैन से दैट आर प्लस ए कॉस थीटा सिमिलरली इन दिस ट्राइंगल अगेन कॉस थीटा बट हेयर क्योंकि आ साइज छोटा सो इट इज कंपेरिजन टू दिस पी एन सो दिस पी बी इज पी एन और वी कैन से दैट आर माइनस ए कॉस थीटा now we have the values for these two put these values in this equation then v q upon 4 pi epsilon not 1 upon this is r minus a cos theta minus 1 over r plus a cos theta by simplifying this q upon 4 pi epsilon not r plus a cos theta minus r plus a cos theta upon r square minus a square cos square theta and what we got here we got this value this q q into 2a 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q 2a cos theta upon r square minus a square cos square theta this q into 2a is called dipole moment so here we have 1 over 4 pi epsilon not that is p cos theta upon r square minus a square cos square theta this is the electric potential at of the dipole at any point and if it is axial line a point axial line te aa gaya then theta is zero and if it is at equatorial line then theta is 90 degree so at axial line v axial at axial line cos 0 1 that is potential is 1 over 4 pi epsilon not p over r square minus a square but at equatorial line when cos is 90 this equatorial line the electric potential is a uh, zero okay then we have the relation that is the electric field as a gradient potential gradient electric field electric field as potential gradient gradient word means uh, which depend upon the length we can say that now to this is also the relation between this electric field and potential gradient again we have this point charge the field and we have the test charge here which have the force in this side and external force again this one and p to q that is the dl vector again now we have the two points we can say that the p point is at a distance r and the q point is r minus dr but as we earlier say the potential difference how we say that the potential difference that is at, at this point q we say at q the potential difference is this and at uh, sorry the potential is this and at p the potential is v so what is the potential difference minus v and this is the work done upon test charge or we can say dv is work done upon test charge this is equation 1 again this is the external force and this is the small displacement p to q so what is the small uh, small work done माइनस के ऊ नॉट ई वैक्टर डॉट डी एल वैक्टर और माइनस के ऊ नॉट ई डी एल कॉस वन एट्टी डिग्री और वी कैन से दैट दिस माइनस माइनस बिकम प्लस के ऊ नॉट ई डी एल बिकॉज कॉस वन एटी इज माइनस वन बट डी एल इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इज लीडिंग टू वर्ड्स माइनस डी आर सो वट वी गॉट हेयर वर्क डन इज माइनस के ऊ नॉट ई डी आर एंड दिस गिवज अस work done upon test charges minus e d r now we this is equation second and this is equation 1 so from from 1 and 2 we have minus e d r is equal to d v or e is minus d v upon d r this is called that electric field is the negative of the potential gradient electric field is negative of potential gradient negative sign means the electric field is in the direction of decreasing potential gradient and from here we can say that the electric field is simply written as v upon d or volt per meter is become the Uh, units of the electric field according to this okay 
Then the next we have the equipotential surfaces. Equipotential means the surfaces which have the equipotential points means any surface which have the same electrostatic potential at every point is called the equipotential surface. And how we can draw these equipotential surfaces? We consider a field. We find out the points which are at the same potential. And if we join that points, we got the equipotential surfaces. We have the property for this equipotential surface. First property is no work is done to move the test charge over the equipotential surface. No work is done to move the charge over the equipotential surface. This is the work done B minus A per unit test charge. But when we are considering EQ potential surface, these two potentials are same. There is a no potential difference. When there is a no potential difference, then work done is a zero. So if we justify the first property that is the no work is done to move the charge on the EQ potential surface. Now second is the electric field is always perpendicular to the EQ potential surface. It can be justified again from this. When this work done is zero, this work done it can be written as that is E dot DL vector. Now this work done is zero. It means the dot product of this equal to zero and the dot product of two vectors zero means they both are perpendicular. It implies E vector is perpendicular to the DL vector means the electric field is a perpendicular to EQ potential surface and these surfaces also justify minus D by DR this is the uh, gradient or we can say DR is a minus DV upon E but for EQ potential surface this is constant there is a no change of the potential then DR is proportional to 1 by E it means the EQ potential surfaces are closer then field is strong and when the equipotential surfaces are farther apart the field is weak so these three are properties and one more two equipotential surfaces can never be intersect each other because when they intersect there will be the two points uh, values for the potentials which is not possible on equipotential surface now you all remember this what are the shape of equipotential surfaces for the different regions now here we have the uniform field and in uniform field how we draw the equipotential surface you just know the shape of the surfaces these are the planes planes which are at the same distance means you remember the equipotential surfaces because these are the constant this dv upon dr that is equal to constant because the electric field is uniform so the for the uniform electric field the equipotential surface are the planes at the equal distances and for isolated charge that is the single charge positive charge these are its field lines and when you draw the when you uh, meet the points where the potential is the same that is called the equipotential surface and equipotential surface for isolated charge are the concentric circles so you must remember these things for the uniform field equipotential surface are the perpendicular planes which are at equal distances and for the isolated charges the equipotential surfaces are the concentric circles and for the two point charges we have to remember we have to uh, draw these surfaces equipotential surfaces like this these are the for system of two point charges means these are the charges that is two same charges positive positive then these dotted lines they are their electric field lines but these lines these are the shapes and you have to remember these shapes for equipotential surfaces and these are for dipole positive negative and these are the field lines then again these circles are shows the equipotential surfaces okay and next we have the electric potential energy electric potential energy of 
सिस्टम ऑफ चार्जेस सिस्टम ऑफ चार्जेस फॉर द सिस्टम एट लीस्ट द मिनिमम चार्जेस इज टू एंड द मैक्सिमम इज एन चार्जेस एंड दिस इज द वर्क डन टू ब्रिंग द चार्जेस ऑफ द सिस्टम फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टू दैट पॉइंट वर्क डन टू ब्रिंग द चार्जेस ऑफ सिस्टम फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टू दैट पॉइंट फर्स्ट वी कंसिडर दैट फॉर द टू पॉइंट चार्जेस फर्स्टली वी से इफ द टू चार्जेस क्यू वन क्यू टू ठीक है इन विद द लोकेशन आर वन एंड आर टू इन ए सिस्टम फर्स्टली ब्रिंग दैम एट द इनफाइनाइट एंड वैन वी मूव द क्यू वन टू कीप टू ब्रिंग इट्स लोकेशन नो वर्क इज डन बिकॉज देर इज अ नो फील्ड और पोटेंशियल विच अपोज इट बट वैन वी मूव द क्यू टू फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टू move in their respective location in the system there is already charge q1 its potential is present there so we have to do the work done and that work is potential of q1 into charge potential into charge potential of q1 four pi epsilon not charge q1 and its distance r1 r2 or we can say 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 and that is equal to r1 2 and this work done is stored as electric potential energy written as u 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 upon r1 2 but when we have the three point charges three point charges that is q1 q2 q3 with again different location r1 r2 r3 then no work is done to move q1 but the work has to be done to move q2 and that work done is 1 2 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 r1 2 and to move this q3 two types of work is done first with respect to 1 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q1 q3 r13 and second is uh, with respect to the second 2 3 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q2 q3 upon r23 so when we have the three point charges then the work done is uh, this and the total work done is consider as the electric electrostatic potential energy of the system and how we write it 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 1 2 q1 q3 1 3 and q2 q3 2 3 and with this but when we writing it in the summation form we write it 1 by 4 pi epsilon not spatial i 1 2 3 j 1 2 3 and q i q j upon r i minus r j vector or i is not equal to j or we can say say that 1 by 2 1 by 4 pi epsilon not summation i is 1 2 3 summation j is 1 2 3 i is not equal to j q i q j is also written as r r 1 2 r 1 2 or we can say r i j r i j then can you know, for the n types of charges n charges n charges how we can write n charges that is u is 1 by 2 One by four pi epsilon not summation i one to n summation j one to n i is not equal to j q i q j upon r i j and we considering this half factor and if we have the three charges we we taking the two times of summation so this is three charges but for the n charges we can write this as a i i is uh, one to n or j is one to n and both are not equal so this is the total electric potential energy for the system of charges and this is for two point this is for three point and this is for n point charges this concept is very important because it is used in the numerical forms also thank you